Did somebody say three brand new Roblox FNAF games number four? Well, I hope so, because that's what this is. If you're not familiar with the series, we check out three brand new Roblox FNAF games. We go through them, and I tried to build up a little bit of hype for them, so you can check them out for yourself. The first game is called Fazbear Memories. It looks like it is only the FNAF 1 animatronics at the moment, but I really like this unique style they have. They just have a very original, unique feel to the models, and I, I dig it. I dig it a lot. I also like this this lobby. It is pretty bare bones, but it just has a has a classic Roblox for that feel to it. So I guess we might as well start with Freddy Fazbear himself. They, oh, what was that? He was like grabbing his face. Oh my god, stop. He's tearing his head off. Freddy, stop it. What's wrong with you? We do have abilities as well. We have a perform. Oh, look at him go! We have a deactivated. We have a jump scare. We have a dull eyes. Oh, there you go. You can brighten them up. I like the way the eyes look, too. We have red eyes. Oh, my God. That's so bright. We have possessed eyes. Mike toggle. And it looks like that is it. I'm assuming the other ones all have similar abilities. So let's go ahead and go to the map. Uh, can I move this out of the way? I don't know. So it looks like we're just going to go to whatever this map is right here, which is Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. I do believe this game is in early access still. The dev is still working on it. So that's why uh, the map doesn't look completely finished yet. So let's go ahead and close that. Oh, I can close it. Okay. I see. Let's go inside. Let's see what this map is looking like. It is going to be the FNAF 1 Pizzeria, I believe. Oh, wait, we could go to the roof? Oh, what is this? Oh, I'm on the roof. Freddy on the roof. You know what that means. Why can't I jump off the roof? What does this door lead to? Oh, I'm on the stage. They even have rings for where we're supposed to stand. Oh, how do I get through this curtain? Why is this curtain solid? Curtain? Oh, can I not? Oh, is this the curtain button? Yeah, that was the curtain button. I like having a curtain button. That's pretty cool. So, it is just the FNAF 1 map. We've all seen it. We know what it looks like. There's nothing too crazy. Can I honk the nose? That's how you know it's a good game. If you can honk the Freddy poster nose, you already know it's going to be good. Can I do this? I can do that. All right. Very nice. It is interactable, which I think is a really nice touch. Can I eat the pizzas? Hey, what's this guy doing? Sir? What? What? I'm asserting my dominance on this plushie. He has no idea what hit him. So we're not going to check out every single animatronic in the game, but I do want to check out at least one more. Uh, let's check out Foxy. And let's go to the map where it's a little bit brighter. There he is. I really like this Foxy model a lot. He just, he looks really cool. I don't know, almost like cartoony in a way, kind of. Uh, that, of course, for abilities... They are more or less the same as Freddy. We have the dull eyes as well, red eyes, possessed eyes, patch toggle. Look, you could flap his patch. Uh, what? The next game is called Barbara Foxy's Ice Cream Place. Uh, we have, is this Barbara? Are you Barbara? It does have the main cast over here. We have Queen Honey, Barbara Foxy, and Ashley the Rabbit. And then we have a ton of other ones. We have Samantha the Bird. We have Emily the Cow and Jenny the Clown. Jenny's really creeping me out. Let's become Jenny. There. Oh, my God. This thing's terrifying. Why is this so creepy? I do like the art of their uh, animatronics and characters on the wall and the cardboard cutout as well. So let's go ahead and head to the map and see what we got going on here. I guess this game isn't technically a FNAF game, but kind of a FNAF fan game in Roblox. But it's the same general concept. We do have a voice line. Oh, that's terrifying. Let's not do that. We have a run as well. We have a jump scare. Oh, it's, it just keeps going. We can pop out an instrument. No, it, do, it toggles the eyes. I guess eyes can be an instrument if you believe hard enough. But what I really like checking out in these FNAF fan games is how they design their pizzeria. And if they've taken any inspiration from others, 
Uh, it is very dark in here, though. I mean, I guess it's midnight, so it makes sense. I don't know if it brightens up during the day, but it is pitch black in here. I really like the purple lighting throughout it. I don't know. I just really like purple, and I think it's very fitting for a pizzeria, and especially maybe it's because I'm this clown character. I don't know. But we have the main stage over here. There's a ton of music playing in the background. I don't know if it's... Oh, where am I? Is this... Oh, this is like a Pirate's Cove type area. I mean, it's not Pirate's Cove, I don't think now, but it could be. Is that it for the pizzeria? I've got to be... Oh, okay, here we go. Wait, no, it's already in there. It looks like a lot of these hallways connect to each other, which I like not having a huge convoluted, uh, you know, hard to make out pizzeria. I like when it's very concise and, I don't know, easy to navigate. Also, I keep calling it a pizzeria. It's an ice cream place. It's not a pizzeria. Stop calling it that, me. But I guess we should probably be checking out the main character of the game, Barbara Foxy themselves. It looks like Toy Foxy slash Funtime Foxy. Oh, we even have ice cream. Oh, it's like a microphone that looks like an ice cream. That, all right, okay. Nice touch. It looks like the heads on these animatronics are the most detailed. And then the body is a little bit more blocky. But I kind of like that style. It is pretty unique, again, just like the last game. It has its own style that's unique to it. I really like the faces on these animatronics. Very, very nice. You know what? I do want to see... You know what? Let's, let's do this first. Let's check out abilities. Uh, instrument for Barbara is the microphone. We have a voice. Are you crying? I don't like that. We have a jump scare as well. It sounds like a lawnmower that got like a rock caught in it. These jump scares are freaking me out, man. I know I only checked out two animatronics in the last game. I was going to only check out two, but I did want to see what this bird looked like. Oh my God, is that Chica? Oh, it's missing the back of its head. Where, where's the rest of you at? What happened to your head? What's going on with your mouth? This looks like a Glamrock Chica design before Glamrock Chica's design actually came out. Because I mean, with the like 80s pointed shades like that, it kind of has a rock or a Glamrock feel to it. I don't know. I like this design a lot as well. I like the beak. It's like not a normal beak. It's like broken down a little bit. It's like pointed downwards. Very nice. Very cool designs. I like it a lot. Let's move on to the third and final game. This one is called Five Nights Location. Uh, I don't know where we are. We're in like a post-apocalyptic menu screen. Looks like we're in the elevator from Sister Location. There's a seagull right there. Is that a playable character? Is that a badge if I click on him? I really hope you could become the seagull. I, I'm interested in whatever's going on outside. But let's just hit play. We have maps. It looks like FNAF 1, again, is the only one available. A mostly accurate FNAF 1 map based on the 1993 Freddy Fazbear's. Oh my god, that time is flying by. We're fast forwarding. Slow down. So in this game, you do have to actually buy your animatronics. You have to earn them with tokens and then purchase them. Also, I like Help Me Dancing over there. Very nice. So it looks like we only have the FNAF 1 animatronics available as well including Golden Freddy, Shadow Freddy, and Sparky, who I already bought. But I do have enough for two more animatronics. So we already checked out Freddy and Foxy in a previous game. So uh, we'll do Golden Freddy and we'll do Bonnie. Since we did the bird in the last one, that kind of takes the place of Chica, kind of. So now let's hit play, go to robots, and let's start with Bonnie. Oh, you can, like, pick where you spawn in at? I guess the dining area. <laughs> he spawned it just staring at the wall like this. I really like... I know I said it in all three games, but I really like the animatronic design in this game as well. It is really blocky, but really detailed at the same time. These kind of look like, like a Minecraft mod. It looks like you would definitely... Oh my god, the way he sprints. Also, the design of the map fits these animatronics as well. It just kind of feels like a big Minecraft map. I don't know what it is, but this model's really cool. It doesn't look like we have any abilities, unfortunately. We can only run around, and we can even hold the sprint button up here if we wanted to. Uh, but it, again, it is the FNAF 1 map. So, Bonnie. Oh, look at him sitting there. Usually in games like this, the animatronics won't sit in the chairs. 
They'll kind of just like phase through it in T pose. So that is a nice touch. You can actually sit in chairs as animatronics. Adds a little bit if you want to role play or whatever. And you can honk the poster's nose. I'm telling you, that's how you know it's a good game. Oh, you can use different buttons to activate these? That's pretty cool. That, you know what? That's pretty cool. I do like that the reset button is on the screen as well. Makes it quick and easy for you to swap out characters. It does take a while to get in once you've selected your character. I guess it just has to load. Also, this one is an early alpha as well, so it is going to take a little bit longer. Oh my god, Golden Freddy's animation. That's crazy. That's so cool. He's freaking out. He's like he's like a zombie or something. That is really cool. I love that idol so much. That's pretty sick. All right, okay. I'm a fan. I'll admit it. I dig it. And then last but not least, of course, we do have to check out Sparky the dog. Let's go uh let's go let's go in the safe room. Oh my god. It's scary back here. There's cobwebs and such. Oh my god, Sparky's a thick boy. Can I? Oh, oh my god. Oh, look at that. The animation is clean. We got bathrooms we can go in. Oh, I gotta check. $50. William Appleton. Thanks, Mr. Appleton. Do you think FNAF would be as big of a series as it is if it was William Appleton and not Afton? Also, who littered out here? Are you kidding me? There's trash cans all over the place. Did you throw all your stuff on the floor? Bunch of degenerates. That's what this is. I can't believe it. Not in my Freddy Fazbear's pizza picture of, I'm assuming, the dev's cat. All right. You know what? This might just be the best game of all time. I admit it. Sparky, why are you doing that? Oh, no. Now he's asserting his dominance on me. 